It's a really difficult time for families with young children, mm -hmm. but special needs families feel very hard hit, both with remote learning mm -hmm. and having most of their health services online as well. And as KCAL 9's Christine Lazar found out today, some of those services they relied on before the pandemic well, could be lost for good. Remote learning for five-year-old Holton Weingrad can be hard for his dad, Eric, to watch. The problem is with my son and kids like Holton is they're not aware of the world around them, so an iPad is just not sufficient. Holton is blind and cannot walk or talk. Last year was his first year at an LAUSD school. He heard the kids. He could feel the rumbling of the floor as they ran around. He could hear the teachers and feel their, their touch, and all of that is gone. Adrian Ransom's five-year-old son, George, has poor vision and physical and cognitive delays. He started kindergarten at an LAUSD school last week. The whole idea of the individualized education plan is to really look at each individual kid and what it feels like is happening is there's just this blanket way that um, the schools or the district is approaching us. Weingrad says the work Holton has been assigned has been inappropriate. For instance, my son who is non-ambulatory, blind, can't communicate, can't move with any purposeful movement is being given projects by the LAUSD to color and draw and fill in questions and answers, it's absurd. The pandemic has also impacted the health services that kids like Holton and George receive. Holton's therapies have been suspended since March. He just started telehealth last week. This week, after only two sessions, they've informed us that they believe he's best served in person, so they want to hold and just wait for we're back in person. Encore, a trade group that represents disability services, recently conducted a survey of nearly 200 providers nationwide and found that 77% said they shut down or discontinued programs due to the challenges related to COVID. Actually, 16% of those who said they had closed programs expected that those services would not reopen. Anchor's Donna Martin says that will also impact the services that do survive. It's not necessarily a given that the organizations who remain will have the capacity to absorb that um, that increase. Brandy Williams's daughter Christy started kindergarten last week. It's been a struggle because I'm having to figure out things to teach her myself. Williams is a single mom. Christy is special needs. However, she does learn, so I want her to be the best that she can be. We reached out to LAUSD to see if we could interview someone within the Division of Special Education, but we were told no one was available. The district instead referred us to their website where there are resources for parents of special needs kids and also a hotline that is manned from 8 to 4 on the weekdays. That information is now on our website. Christine Lazar, KCAL 9 News.